data loss prevention policy. These are the policies that actually configured by the admin members in order to secure the organizational data. Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, we'll be talking about the data loss prevention policies or the DLP policy in Power Platform. DLP policies is actually designed to protect the organization data that can be exposed outside your organization. So how it would be created, how it will work and how it will maintain or configure. In this video, I'm going to show you everything. Okay, so without wasting time, I'm just navigating to my screen. In order to create the DLP policy, first thing you should have is the appropriate permissions. Either the either you would be the environment admin or you would be the global admin or the power platform admin. Okay. So right now I have the privilege of the admin members. So you need to go to the admin center and inside the admin center, you have the option in the policies. If you just expand these policies, you have the data policies. Just click on the data policy and here you can create your new policy. So we'll create the new policy. Here you need to give the policy a name. So let's give it a good a name. So let's say block block DP trigger. This is the name. And here it will ask you in which environment you would like that policy to work. Okay, so I'm using my COE environment for now. Add to policy. Next and later you here you will get the option. You will have three groups. The first is the business group. Second one is the non-business group or the default group. Third one is the block group. So these group is actually plays the major role which of your connector belongs to which group is actually defined the good policy this the dlb policy okay so the business group is actually designed whenever you need to act, do some things with the business data okay let's take an example your data your your some of your business data is stored in sharepoint or maybe in dataverse or maybe in sql so in that case you can put those connectors into the business group. Second one is the non-business group. Non-business groups are actually the group in which all your all your connectors would be present by default. Okay, so whatever the connector would be present in that group can be easily attached into your flow and can work. Although business group connector will also work in the Power Automate flow or in the Power app, like the Canvas app. Third one, we have the block group block group are those group of connector like if we put any connector into the block group it means whenever any person any maker try to use that particular connector into any power automate flow or maybe in the power app then it would save the flow but it would not allow the flow to get turned on because that connector is blocked by the dlp policies okay so as the name i am given we are restricting the http connect http trigger because this is actually a very common connector that can be used to expose your data outside because http connector actually triggers from a url and if you post that url from any custom website or maybe any other place it will trigger your flow and once your flow get triggered there is a possibility that your organization data or maybe the any any actions that you have used in that flow all the data that whatever the data comes into those action would be exposed outside. Okay, so blocking the HTTP connector is very common. So we are making that only here. So we search for that is the HTTP here. We are blocking this one when a HTTP request is received because as this power platform is designed for to work on the organization basis data so that data need not to be published outside of the organization okay so that connector if any flow is built using this connector as a trigger then that flow can be triggered okay so we need to first move it to the block okay so have you 
moved into the block now we click on the next and it is given your policy name is block http trigger connectors maximum are in the non business one is in the blocked scope is the single environment because it is mean to be designed only to work in a single environment okay you can make it to work on multiple environment as well if you would like to but i don't want it to work for the multiple environment i'm just want it to work on a single environment so we click create the policy now we have created the policy now let's test we come here and we try to create one flow okay so we click on the click flow automate type and here I need to search that connector. HTTP. Get this one. When an HTTP request is received, and just for the concept, I'm just using only one action that is the initialize some variable, and let's say where one and it's type to be the string type, and I'm passing as Prashant. Okay. And this is. The name of the flow is test HTTP DLP. Now, if I try to save it, it's saving. So here you can see I got some warning. It says your flow was saved, but it could not enable. Like it can't be turned on because it conflict the company data loss prevention policies because we have blocked this particular action through our one dlp policy okay so it means that flow would be would be created but it would not turn on it would not be enabled okay so that's how we can create now the question is if we how we can use the different groups of in the policies so just expand this one make some edit and if we go to the connector here we can see we have this block here okay so now the case is how we can differentiate business group and non-business groups so business group is actually the connector that are designed to work only in the organization basis and non-business group are are the group that is designed to work outside outside not the outside but it is actually generally av available so take an example let's say someone is trying to create one flow that flow is getting extracting some data from the dataverse and posting it to the linkedin or maybe any quickbooks or maybe any other third party maybe facebook any other tool okay so here dataverse is storing some data and we want that data to be restricted okay we don't want that data to be exposed to the uh, like on on the facebook or maybe at that place so what we can do in the business group we can add our connector let's say dataverse connector let's search here dataverse so we have the dataverse let's do it for sharepoint not for dataverse because dataverse has two different type of connectors okay so let's say use this the sharepoint let's say some data is stored some confidential data is stored on the sharepoint okay and we don't want that sharepoint data to be exposed to any other place okay any other any other default connector. so if we move this to move to business and we remove this one let's say for remove for now move to non-business okay so we have added sharepoint connector into the business group and all other connector are in the non-business group so let's see how it work to the next it's change the name of it to be to uh make sharepoint business SharePoint is for business. Business only. Okay. We have right and in the business we have this SharePoint in the business group and all other are in the non-business and nothing is in the blocked. 
and review and next and our policy now what we'll do if we try to add here the sharepoint connector let's say any sharepoint connector you any sharepoint action any sharepoint action let's say we have the list rows list items actually the same any site we can use so i'm using by production site and any list i can use okay now i'll just try to save it and see what happens so again it is saying it is conflicting data loss prevention policy if i go with the flow checker i can see updating get item get item to warning maybe not this one maybe this hasn't refreshed i need to just refresh the page refresh the tab actually so i can see right now this particular connector is, has turned off okay if I try to see what is there in this connector, I have this SharePoint. Okay. Let's do it for now. Try to save it. And right now, this connector is not having any as such. It is saying that loss prevention policies again. We try to turn it on. HTTP request to save block HTTP request trigger. Okay, so I think it hasn't refreshed now. Let's try to refresh one more time. It is not taking the updated one. Okay, because it is still showing the previous name of the of my uh, DLP. Okay, let's try to refresh, refresh one more time, refresh. and let's try one more time so here i can see this flow is actually turned on here i can get the option of turn off means it right now it is turned on it means because if i open it i can see i have only these two connectors here on the http and this right now this connector is present in the non-business group okay now if i add the sharepoint connector any SharePoint connector, you, any SharePoint action you can use. Sure. SharePoint, and we use the get items. And any list name. And now, if I try to save it, it says get items the operation violates admin data policies sharepoint is from the business only which is restricted to use for the business connectors sharepoint online with the non like it means if any connector if if you're designing any flow and that flow is having some connector from the business group and some connector from the non-business group then that would not allow you to create the flow okay if you are if you have used all the connector that belongs to the sharepoint only you or maybe the all all the connectors that are present in the business group then you can create the flow but it would not be using any connector which is from the non business group or if your flow is using all non business group and any connector from the business group then again it would not allow you to create Okay, so that is exactly the difference of the business group and non-business group. Like you can't create any any uh, like Power Automate or maybe any Canvas app that is using business group and non-business group connectors. Okay, either it is using only the business group or it is using the non-business group. But combinations of both can't be can't work here. So yes, that is all in the DLP. So. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have still have some doubt in the DLP policies, please write to me.